Just as an introduction, I want to highlight the PC function of this. First off, no problem connecting it via the PC, but it does need to go directly into the USB port of your computer. Uh, I tried plugging it through a hub and all I did was charge up the battery. It didn't recognize it as a speaker, at least through this uh, USB hub. So if you want to use it as a PC speaker, it seems you do need to plug in directly into the computer itself. That's not an unusual thing. That's not. <laughs> but I do want to highlight it does need to plug in directly. Uh, also, I, I'm on my Windows 7, it popped up, installed the drivers for it well, within 30 seconds, no problem. But I did have to go into my sound drivers, their playback, and I had to enable, see how that's the speaker there, CD002. I had to make that my default device. So I did have to manually go into control panel, go to sounds, open up, there's the, the tiles, open up the sounds, and then uh, enable the speaker CD002 as the default device. And But then from there, we're good to go. And we'll go ahead and plop in some music here. And there we go. We got computer speakers. Alright, now let's look at the this really neat thing. Very cool little speaker. But first, to clear out any possible confusion, this is not a Bluetooth. It is not Bluetooth. It is an MP3 FM player. It does have a out port for headphones but not an aux in all right so that's the and for music playing you're going to be either using the fm radio or an mp3 player such as off a flash card right there or an sd card now if you use an sd card what i would do is i'll put the sd card and probably put a little bit of electrical tape over that because it is on the bottom which is fine it's a good placement but since it is on the bottom i'd place a little bit of electrical tape over the sd card just you know help protect it from any surface grid or moisture or anything like that so there's that USB flash drive flawless I tested it off this card now this flash drive has uh, music but it's not it's not all in the same directory it's the, the music's all kind of scattered around along with all their multimedia files and the reason I point this out is I have dealt with other mp3 players that's some of them get a little uh, wonky. They don't really want to work unless all the music files are directly listed under the prime directory. There's no subdirectories, no folders. It's all listed, uh, and so on and so on. This had no problem picking up and playing all the music tracks in spite of all those other multimedia files in there and being spread about on the card itself. So nice touch that. And you just plug it in, easy, smeezy, mini USB for charging purposes. It uses an 18650 battery. A well tried and true proven battery source. It's not a Lee Ion or a Lee Polymar, but an 18650. Now I do, it comes with a battery, and I do wish they kind of, they had managed to figure out a way to let me be able to use any 18650, because I have a few. I uh, you know, rechargeable batteries where I can just use any and plug it in there, but as you can see, it uses a wirely to plug in on the side. That's no big deal, but yeah, I do kind of wish I could use any 18650, but eh, no problems. I, I mean, I probably can, you know, do something similar with my other batteries, just get the appropriate lead, run it to the charge head, and then tape it up like that. So, nothing terribly complicated and put that back on and a manual volume button now I've always actually liked manual volume buttons there's something about the fine control of it uh, <laughs> instead of having to do push buttons it's a minor thing but just to show you it is a volume button but it has a volume level display so you're not just guessing as you're hitting the wheel so this could have easily been replaced by manual to by little push buttons but considering how full they filled up the front display I the wheels perfectly fine. It's convenient, just the old typical like that. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. It's going to be on FM first. So we'll go ahead and long press it on. There you go. High five. It shows you the time. And we'll go to FM. And it does have a scan function. This is a non-existing channel. This is a channel I started on. We'll just hit the scan function. 
Florido en Dodrago and ante lo corto de Portugal que llega a you can set channels which I haven't yet but there are channels de la Copa de uh, that you can set up but you can also este put in manual channels de optimismo. Oh, I don't think I was right on there it was 88.7 there you go so you can mainly enter in channels and it does have that's as far as the little antenna extends but it gets pretty good reception even inside my house <laughs> and you got the clock there just tap and it'll give you the clock display yeah, but if you long press it the clock display will you know that's what it will mainly go to you know, stop the music and that's the mode it'll be in and you can set an alarm it's got all separate buttons for everything and you know with in this day and age where everything has to be uh, you know MFB multifunction buttons I do like the I do like the having the separate buttons now you do have sort of an MFB here the power button also acts as your play pause button but yeah that's that's fine you got your track buttons let's go ahead and throw in a uh, Oh, just give you an idea, actually, before I put in that flashcard. Let's go back to FM. Oh, not to, there you go. There you go. I was <laughs> long pressing it. You don't need a long press. It's just short press it. But you can pause the FM, just like that. Nice touch, without even having to f uh, fiddle with the volume. So there's that. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the, my flashcard here. Make sure I'm in the right direction. Yes, I am. All right. All right. It'll automatically start loading. And it remembers what track I was on. It went straight to 32, which is where I was last on. So there's a bit of internal memory there. And it can get pretty loud. And I actually think the audio quality is pretty good for a, a simple setup. And this is what I mean by the digital volume display. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Track. You can also manually go to track numbers. That's number two. Quick, quick response. And what I wanted to show there is that quite often, very often, whenever you hit the backtrack key, uh, most audio devices will interpret the first backtrack press to go to the beginning of that song that's playing and then you have to press it yet again to actually go to the song previous to that which I've never really cared that much for but it's the common thing however this to illustrate this actually goes back to the prior track first none of that having tap 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 to cycle backwards uh, and, so I like that and also got the little replay if you find a track you just want to keep going ad nauseum there it is uh, very nicely done all around so yeah very cool little MP3 radio player uh, and uh, it's pretty solid and I've got to say the volume that comes out of the, this thing especially if you've got a face in you I hit the play button again I mean, it doesn't have much on the bass resonance or uh, anything like that. It is on the treble side, but all things considering, it's a single little speaker uh, in the compact radio form. It's actually better. I still have an old FM digital radio, uh, and it's it's got the same little speaker diameter, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> so in comparison to what you normally find on little FM MP3 uh, radio setups like this, this is excellent. It really is. So easy five stars. Hey, you guys have yourself a great one.